there. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Um, yes, it is Tuesday. I'm sorry we're late. We had some technical difficulties, uh, but we're okay now. Thank you for coming. People are coming in quickly. Well, um, one thing I want to bring up, some people had reported that when they log into the OES, they can't log out. Uh, that has been sent to the powers to be, and it will be corrected very quickly. Okay, just so you know, that's something that we had, I had heard about a few hours ago and I sent it right away. So that should be fine. Uh, another thing I want to say is when people are asking what's going on, what's going on, whatever was said by Ash last, that's what's going on. Now, we may not see some of it, whatever. They're, they're, we don't know all the little details, but we know what he said. That's what's going on until he comes on and modifies it or enhances it or whatever happens. So that's what's going on, okay? I have some people saying, well, I got my 15 days. That was never mentioned about 15 days at this point. What they said was they're going to slowly ramp it up. I don't know why people are thinking, oh, I put it in 15 days. That's not what he said. Go read what was said, the last update from Mr. Mupara. Okay, he said we're going to start off slow, and we're going to slowly ramp it up. If there's an issue during the ramping procedure, they will stop, make a modification, and ramp again if they can. This is just the way it is, okay? They have to do it this way because they want to make sure everything is going like clockwork. Okay, that's why. Now, I know I'm supposed to bring Chris on, but he couldn't make it. Okay, so it's kind of sad because I don't like the idea he's not here. But hey, that's what happens. So. Some some blockheads waving at me in the corner, but it looks like Chris, but I don't think it's him. Maybe I should check. Let me just go check. Oh, he is. I almost left. I'm thinking, oh, maybe he doesn't see me on here. You blockhead. The, the technical difficulties is they put me on some new, some yeah. new. Funny drugs, I call them, and uh, <laughs> I'm a little floaty right now. So, um, oh yeah, I was playing him in pool, <laughs> and during the pool game, he would go, "Yeah, I was, I was on the yellow submarine," and I'm going, <laughs> "What the frick are you talking about?" Uh, oh wait a minute, sometimes I leave the planet. I go, oh, "Great." Anyway, he is on the planet right now, so good luck, everybody. Chris, go ahead, man. In fact, guess what, guys? His doctor came in while we were talking, and I got to be there while she talked to him and told him what was going on. If we, if she would have waited ten more minutes, we could have had that lie. Chris okay. can tell you what's going on there. Go ahead, Chris. Um, <laughs> it was uh, it was funny because what Marty just said. I don't want to repeat myself because everything in my head is going twice. She did come in and she showed me the pictures. Uh, the x-ray pictures of my uh, lungs what's what was happening and they she came in and turned my machine on a what they call a water seal now and hopefully it stays up and it's a good chance tomorrow that i get the tube out of my chest and they have to really make sure because if, if not they got to put that that thing back in there now it really wasn't that painful to have it put in to be honest with you but it still hurts and it's you know it's i just i really want to get out of here you know, I've talked about my journey and, uh, oh, I don't know, a couple of years ago, I started talking about looking out different windows and I, I'm kind of really sick of this window. I've been looking out this window for three or four days. I'm looking at palm trees and sunshine and, and different kind of trees and cars. And I even asked the lady one night, can, I thought there was a guy out there washing his car, but obviously the drugs were kicking in again. And I said, can I go help that guy wash his car? Because I just want out of here. Um, I have almost like a leash on me with a little machine where I just can't go. 
Uh, I have to call up someone to stand up or use the bathroom and it's really uncomfortable, but I still thank my lucky stars uh, for what I have right now, even though I'm, I don't, I feel like absolute yucky, but it could be a lot worse guys. I could have died. I could have just brain damaged myself as hard as I hit the ground. And I'm thinking, well, I'm just, I'm ta I'm counting the blessings. So every time I cough or sneeze, it's like someone taking a shotgun and shooting me into the chest. That's, that's no lie. So, and then, and that's going to be like that for the next couple of months that they keep reminding me, which is, I took my, uh, oxygen out of my nose because it was starting to make me sneeze. So I had to rip that sucker out of there, but my oxygen is fine. All kind of crazy things, but if everything turns out good tomorrow, there's a good chance they'll pull the tube out of me. And there's a good chance I might be able to get to go home uh, tomorrow night and see my dog and my cousin and uh, get back to some, it's not going to be normal by any means, because remember I'm in an RV Uh I am going to be moving. The The nurse said the best thing I can do is to keep moving around, loosen everything up, and go like that. And then and then uh, we, we start. I mean, I, I don't get passive out of my mind at all. And I, I only had a few people actually text me some things they had. And uh, what, what, what Marty was saying is, uh, once again, Ash hasn't changed what he said. I was... Oh, hold on. Hi. You done with your tray, honey? Yes, I am. You can take it. Thank you very much for your great oh, service. Man. You have a good day. You too, man. Thank you. So that's your life, man. People come in and out your door. Uh, I'm going to say this about this hospital. It's the most, and I'm all over the place. I know. Marty, stop laughing. It's the most diverse hospital I've ever seen anywhere in my life. I thought I'm passive was diverse every night tonight today i have a an uh an indian nurse it's a guy uh, benno last night i had a girl from puerto rico she was really pretty too the night before that i had a girl from the philippines and every day i got a different country in my room and every day i get to explain to him about a passive it's kind of cool uh marty was on the phone with me today when i was talking to the guy who's from india actually and he says to me he said he never heard of it. He's been in the States for a long time. He goes, he goes, hey, Mr. Johnson, there's a lot of techs in India. There's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of smart people. Yep. Yeah. And he started talking about the big, the Google or Yahoo came. Yeah, yeah, I know. All right. You can leave now. <laughs> Ouch. So it's, it's, listen, uh, why am I doing this right now? It's because I want to, because I, I still say, and I still know what it's going to do, not only for my life. Uh, I mean, if you're my age right now and you don't have any insurance or you have nothing to look forward to, my heart bleeds for you because you're going to spend the rest of your life after you get out of the hospital and hopefully everything works good. You're going to have a bill that's so big because you didn't have insurance. Uh, it's going to be unbearable. I know people that lost everything because they couldn't even afford the bill that when they got hit by a car, they were sick. And this is something that you need to look forward to about a passive. Now, uh, we've talked about many things in passive, health care. Um, and when I first started, Ash was bringing in the doctors. He was having some plans built together for, he was going all different directions. And I believe uh, my opinion in my heart that all these directions are now coming together. And I almost want to cry. It might be because of the drugs, because I honestly believe you guys don't have no idea what's coming your way. Can you just imagine waking up every morning and looking at your phone or your computer and saying, oh, my God, and seeing lots of things there, commissions, bonuses, all stuff he just talked about, or I talked about last Wednesday because he called and said, hey, Chris, say this. I don't think you can really imagine that. All you people right now that work maybe 40, just I'm going to say you might have a, shit, a crap job. I almost said the bad word, buddy. Uh, a crap job. And you're working, you know, some 40, 50, 60, 70 hours a week, ungodly hours. You probably work with some pretty dangerous machinery. 
you're probably you're probably breathing in smoke like I did. That's slowly killing you. Don't you just want to change that? We have a lot of people in a passive right now who uh, who said they needed the change. They wanted the change, and they got into this company five years ago, all all the way up to actually joining. Uh, we have new people signing up every day in a passive and people say, what's, what, why would they do this? Why? They got nothing else out there, guys. Listen, if you're an uneducated individual, me, I, listen, I'm an uneducated individual with half a year of college and I got lucky and got into Mazda Motors and Ford Motor Company. Okay. You don't have to be a rock star. I think education is important. But if you're one of those individuals, and I'm going to use myself as an example, you're going to get what you get as a job. You're not going to get an engineering job that pays. Well, actually, engineering jobs don't pay squat. I hate to tell you that, but they don't. Uh, you're going to get a job in a factory or a warehouse or Maybe you're going to be doing something. Maybe, maybe you'll be a backyard mechanic. I mean, there, there's all kind of ways to make money, but every one of them are struggling because you, what you always, what I always wanted to look for was just a steady paycheck every week, and that's what I got for over 40 years of my life. So I found that to be very blessed. But when I woke up this morning, I actually looked at my phone, uh, and I looked at what was going on with my wallet, and I got tears in my eyes. I don't, I still can't fathom the thought is I'm not doing anything. I slept last night. Really. I was sleeping last night. And then we've talked about that many times. Make you'll, You're going to work till you die. Way to make money until you're sleeping. All right. This is, this is what Ash is doing. Uh, the sad thing is he still gets slapped around. And by all means, if you ever slap Ash Mafara when I'm around or Marty, you're going to be in a lot of trouble, even though he hates when he say, says this. But he's uh, he's done something that's, that's going to change the world. And I got people like my own family that think I'm a nut job. Uh, oh, now you're in a hospital. That's right. I'm in a hospital. Why? Because I got hurt, man. What the heck you think I'm going to do? Did I plan it? No. Did li Listen, you know. This is going to be funny because I'm wacky, wacky tobacky right now. I, you think I didn't want to come out here and say, oh, well, how it really happened is I jumped into the ocean and a couple sharks attacked me and, and beat me up pretty good. And then a whale crashed into me, broke my rib. I could have made up anything. No, here's what happened. It was dark. It was windy and cold. And I did a live just before I crashed to the ground. And I missed a step. All it takes in life is missing one step and it could throw you for a loop. You don't know. You don't know what your ne next step going to be. But I'm going to tell you this. These steps in Unpassive are going to take you to a higher ground. The steps in Unpassive are going to take you away from stress, strain, pressure. If you do get hurt, the, the hard work from Ash Mafara the tech team, the Muhammad Nizel, the Muhammad Kamal, Dr. Susan. I like to say, I'm going to say it this way. It's going to pay your bills. It's going to pay, pay your hospital stay. Insurance is a big deal, guys. And I'm going to tell you, look up the percentage of just in America, how many people don't even have insurance. Uh, and, and they try to pay for it. And it's really, really expensive. So there's just, and I'm all over the map. I apologize hopefully in a couple of days. And I want to say another thing I said, I want to say some prayers because it's important. Always. I've never turned people down from Paris. I appreciate it. I just think there's a lot more people out there who, uh, who, who need a lot more prayers than what I do. I'm not going to say don't keep praying for me, but uh, Robin Noble, very, very good friend of mine. Definitely needs prayers. A uh, one that I completely just found out about in the last couple of days Jane Redford's mom is going through some tough. You heard on there on Funday, Monday, the end times. Um, pray for her mom. Pray for the strength of her and her family. Uh, I had the greatest call in the world yesterday. 
and it was very comical. Mr. Harold Fox, he calls me because we were worried about him. And he's like me. He can't laugh. You know, he's having a tough time. We had a major surgery and he did great. So that's what your prayers did. And there's a lot of people out there that we continually pray for. But just keep praying. Know that a passive is going to take you away from things. And even though I'll even have my brother will get on here and say some pretty rude comments because he does not believe. And I got a news for you, Mr. Mark Johnson. I'm going to tell you this straight to your face. You are a founder, but that can all change real quick. Uh, and I'm not saying that to be mean or rude. It's just when you start picking on my family members, like if someone picked on you, uh, same reaction. Please don't leave comments like you did on Julie's yesterday. That wasn't fair to her. Um, you have no idea what I'm talking about. And I'm going to show you very soon uh, why I do what I do. And I just might be nice enough to let you have that founder position. But I'm thinking about it. Then again, I think I just might donate it to my dog. <laughs> just for the heck of it. All right, Marty. Definitely rambling on. Happy birthday if you got a birthday. Hopefully I won't be so whacked up tomorrow and I'll probably talk normal, but I just, you know, it's like a true serum. It's letting everything come out. But if you're not proud of being a passive, you, you should be. It's happening right now. You just don't know it. Ash Bafar is probably, while you were sleeping last night, was probably getting beaten in the head with, with by, by lawyers, governments. He is not going to let this ever go wrong or right or die. Uh, what did he say? He has to do this. This is what he was born to do. So, all right, Mr. DeGarmo. And how do I look after pretty bearded, no haircut, no shower? Look you are looking marvelous. I tried covering up my chest with a pillow. <laughs> That's good. Yeah. He opens that up when the women walk in. Now. I mean, come on. How you doing? Yes, <laughs> oh, Don't make me laugh. Anyway... <laughs> Um, and next, do I? Yeah, he's coming at 11. Right. Uh, what I wanted to say is, you know, what well, is this what Chris said? I came in down passive because I had to know what's up. I stayed in on passive because I got to meet and got to understand Mr. Mipara and what a good hearted, unbelievable person that he is. And the other part, there's only three on this list that I'm telling you is that. Everyone will win. I mean that. I did not want to go to another company where 2%, one and a half, two percent win, and everybody else is just crawling their way to stay. But they're happy to break even. That's sad. And, you know, I, I said this yesterday, and I want to say it again. Until all your cards are dealt, don't show your hand. You don't know what you have. You got five cards coming. You only got two. You can't tell me I've only got a 10 and a jack. <laughs> yeah. If the next next ones are right, you can have a full house. Or, or, I mean, a, a royal flush. Just <laughs> wait. Just wait, everybody. Just wait and see what happens. Um, I'm glad Chris came on with it. It's pretty cool because I got to actually listen to the doctor. His lungs are getting better showed him the x-rays and that what what they're looking for so it's definitely getting better but he fell so hard he actually smacked his other lung around a little bit too it sounds that, like so that was news to yeah. me yeah i'm listening for him because you know <laughs> and, and i told him i i did call the doctor talk to him and t told him to talk to me for a minute he did and i said why you have chris <laughs> can you uh High as tubes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyway, thanks everybody. I'm going to get moving. Uh, we'll be on again tom tomorrow. Tomorrow, three sixty is three sixty. Uh, Chris is planning on being there. Hopefully, by the time three sixty comes, hey. he's get, yep. he's packing his bags. Well, Mark, if I can't make it because I'm they're doing a procedure on me. Can you please have Ash Mafara step in for me and fill in for me? Because he's the only one I'll let do 360 if he fills in. <laughs> I'll try. Yeah. 
I'll Pardon? tell him that if he, he has the honors, I'll let him come in. Yeah. No, he's, he's, he's always invited. Anybody yeah. say goodbye, Chris? Goodbye, Chris, but you got to go on with the show tomorrow, whether I'm on or off, because everyone's dying to see three. Uh, I haven't listened to you for three or four years. I'm not listening now. <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll, de we'll decide that tomorrow. Okay. Anyway, goodbye, everybody. Uh, last night, we had a virtual butt whipping of the women in trivia. I don't want to rub that in because that would be ignorant, but I am on. I, this is our live. I get to do it. I'm just kidding. It was a lot of fun. Dan Street came on. He played too. So anyway, love y'all. Uh, there's a lot of webinars. If you want to go one, there's one right now. There's one later on. There's one tonight. So anyway, see you all. And thank you so much for being here. We had almost 600 people here. And uh, obviously, Chris is getting better, which is good. Prayers work. And I will see you all tomorrow.